Welcome everyone. So, as you would have known, yesterday I brought the TGI Osmo Action 4, and the standard combo, not the adventure combo. And today I went out vlogging. The vlog will be on my vlog channel. Um, the link will be below if you want to check it out. This will just be talking about it, talking about what I filmed and showing you little clips and stuff just to break it down a bit because when I was recording it, I didn't get to see the footage till I got back. So this is like my reaction to it. So my first usage and first thoughts of it, you know. So if you want to keep watching, thank you. Um, but just have to let you know that I've got this camera. I'm not going to go snowboard, not going to go diving, not going to go extreme sports. I'm just going to use it for vlogging. I know what you're going to say. I could have got the Pocket 3 for that. But I wanted the Action 4 because it's waterproof, more durable, and yeah, because I wanted it. <laughs> yeah, Maybe I'll get the Pocket 3 in the future. I do not know. Or maybe I'll wait for the Pocket 4. I don't know. So, I've been out and about, as I said, I've recorded the vlog. And these are the little bits I've picked out with um, positives. No, no negatives yet, all positives. So here it goes. When I've used the Acaso to film, like in darkish kind of places, like near me there's a little subway I have to go to to get across the road. And when I film in there, the, the face goes completely dark and you can't see much and it's like, okay, well, you can still hear me kind of thing. I mean, with the Acaso, you have to use it like the, the wireless mic because the audio is so naff, you know. But um, the lighting, yeah, you can see my face, which is fantastic. Still darkish, but I think the Pocket 3 would be a lot brighter. But this, you know, was far better than I thought, you know, and the, the quality, you know. Um, so I was impressed with that. And the audio straight from the camera. When I first started filming, I rested my camera on my bookshelf, which is plastic, and it, it was echoey, thinking, oh, the sound's not that good, is it? But as soon as I had it on the, um, on the selfie stick and started filming, the audio was just amazing. Here you go. Here's the evidence. So, yeah, um, that was the first couple of bonuses. <laughs> um, there were a few things I found out that I didn't actually know. I might have known, but not really paid attention to it, you know. One of it is, one thing that really, really impressed me was the speed it records at. I mean, you can press a button to turn it off. I think it puts it into sleep mode for a few minutes. Um, and if you press the record button, it's recording straight away. Even though it went to sleep mode, it's just constantly... And you press the stop the cord and it and it can shut shut back off again after three seconds. It gives you three seconds to swipe the screen. Um so that is an amazing feature. You know, if you want to capture something fast, you've done it. But if you wait more than five minutes, you have to wait at least about ten seconds um, when you press the start button. So if it's within that five minutes, it records straight away, you know. So that's a that's a massive bonus. You can change your settings as well for sleep mode and stuff, so you know. Um, so yeah, that's just, that's fantastic. What else did I find out about it? I just think the overall, yeah, the, um, cause I, I did take the full aim wireless microphone with me, but I forgot the wind thing and then I forgot to turn it on when I was recording. I was going to use it to compare, but I forgot to turn the microphone on, didn't I? So the, all the audio was straight from the, the camera. But I was so impressed with the audio, so impressed. Um, the 1080p test, there you go, there's a little clip of it. So it's still recording the 1080p. Try to zoom again, see what it looks like. And the 4K test, and I'm testing out in 4K, 25 frames a second, just to see what the difference is. Any difference in the pitch quality? Well, I do not know. Oh. I'm mainly going to be film filming in 2.7K really, rather than 4K, but, you know, if it works, it works. I did also 
recorded tiny little time lapse so i'll put that on there now as well so overall my first impressions when i'm when i'm holding the selfie stick with the camera you can feel the weight and that's not a negative it's a positive because it feels like you got something powerful it feels like you know this is this is nice you know it's not that light that you, you forget you got it it's it's got a bit of weight to it but the weight gives it more of a personality more of a character more of them yeah it's own little persona kind of thing you know it's really it's strange to say i don't know yeah but to me when i was vlogging i was happy to it was like it wasn't a chore it was like yes this is it now you know um I know that's a bit strange i know it's strange but that's just the way my mind is i mean i've been waiting so long to get this so long to get an, a decent action cam that can do these kind of things the castle brave yeah it can do it the pitch quality is damn good but the audio and all the little things no there's a lot to this camp actually for that i haven't even used yet i haven't used or is it d log something um i haven't used 10 bit i haven't used there's lots of stuff i haven't used i haven't even means settings don't mix i mean isos and short speeds to me that's a gobbledygook i don't understand that uh put it on auto and see what it does i'm gonna i am gonna learn about them things because if i can get better footage then i'm happy you know if i can get rid of some of the the sound in the background i'm happy so i'm gonna learn it but bit by bit i learned about watching youtubers and stuff like that so if you want to see the vlog please do the link be below when it's available I mean, if it's available blah 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 and then check the whole video out by all means um yeah but i'm gonna be doing a lot more you get a lot more outdoor videos on this on this channel coming up you know the uh, out and abouts now the weather's getting better and i've got a damn good camera <laughs> so yeah you're gonna get lots more videos um so yeah so subscribe like comment you know what to do and comment please do comment if you've got an, an action four or are you a gopro fan an action four fan or are you an insta 360 fan or you know or pocket three i don't know comment below let me know until the next one which will be soon um because i'm going out about the next couple of days um yeah to the pips